And welcome back. Elvis Fest 2017 has music, food, and this year a first, courtesy of the Tupelo Elvis Fan Club. As WCBI's Chad Groening reports, people were drawn to the downtown area and to a famous landmark to take a trip back in musical history. It is steeped in Elvis lore. Tupelo hardware looks very much like it did when Elvis came here for his famous purchase more than 70 years ago. And this weekend, the very guitar that Elvis bought is back on display, thanks to the generosity of its owner. When I got the guitar, I went through a, a great deal of effort or whatever to get it validated and to get Red West to document how he had gotten the guitar or whatever. And then I got contacted by the folks here at Tupelo Hardware about bringing it down here. And it's really been a great experience to bring it down here and have people see it and see the reactions and see the, hear the comments and get to tell the stories. Uh, it's, it's been a, not just a lot of fun, but very informative and very enlightening for me. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. For Elvis fans, it's very significant. I mean, and not to mention for Tupelo Hardware how significant that, that is. But the main fact to me is just the, that that guitar still is with us and hopefully, you know, we'll, it will, Larry, I'm sure, will always take care of that and we will have it indefinitely. Tupelo Hardware has always been a popular spot for visitors during Elvis Festival weekend. But this year they got a special treat, a chance to witness what happened on that day in 1946 when Elvis came here with his mother to buy a birthday present. Hey, Mr. Bobo. Hey, Miss Gladys, what brings you all to town today? Well, you know, it is somebody's birthday. Why? It's mine. It's mine, Mr. Bobo. Happy birthday, son. What can I do for you all today, Miss Gladys? I'm going to get me a gun. That one. You talking about that 22 rifle up there? But Elvis was given another alternative. Look at this oh, right here. Look at that. Here, hold it. I don't know how I play this thing, but I can shoot a gun. I bet you couldn't shoot it the first time you picked it up. That'd be a whole lot better than that cigar store, that cigar box thingy that Uncle Bester made you. Like I said. I don't know how to play no guitar. Tanner Palmer of Baldwin was honored to play the part of Tupelo's favorite native son, who died so many years before Tanner was born. I kind of learn from people, like different people, about his story. And I uh, listened to a lot of his music when I was little. And Tupelo professional actress Jennifer Collins read a great deal about Gladys Presley to prepare for her role of Elvis's mother. And she was a very concerned mother. Of course, she lost a child in childbirth. He had a twin. And so she's, you know, very concerned about keeping him safe. And, and that's what really a lot of the, uh, the, the reenactment is because he wants a gun and she doesn't want him to have a gun. And history proved that mother knew best. Chad Groening, WCBI News, Tupelo. Yeah, it's good he got that guitar. The Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Contest is continuing at this hour as we speak. Y'all can check that out on Facebook Live after our newscast. We'll have the winner for you tonight at 9 and 10.